This is Alistair Young at RedHunter.com. This video will be showing how to set up and test your uh, Borns Ace128 Absolute Contacting Encoder uh, using the uh, library which I have created. Uh, the device itself is a digital knob which is designed for uh, front panels for providing a uh, power-free uh, position from 0 to 128 uh, showing the rotational position of the knob. I have also used it in uh, animatronic and robot applications for uh, motion control, uh, though it is not designed for that and probably does not have an infinite life uh, doing that, but uh, you can use it for that kind of application. Uh, uh, the wiring in the attached schematic uh, matches the diagram in the datasheet. Uh, we are going low numbered pin to low numbered pin, uh, in our case, this device is a PCF8574 uh, chip. You can also use the 8574A or the MCP23008. Uh, you wire them the same way. You can mix up the pins, but then we need a different translation table to translate from the gray code, which comes out of the device, into the uh, normal numeric code, which uh, we all know and love. There's your translation table. It's complicated. But the library takes care of all that for you, including changing the wires. Uh, you can create new uh, translation tables. So uh, I prepared the wiring here already. Uh, this is our test script uh, ready to go. But uh, for it to be ready for you, uh, we need to take a look at it and do some adjustments uh, to match uh, your setup, which may vary. So uh, first thing, uh, we're including the code itself, and then we're including our mapping table. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that's the sequence of pins. If you're mixing up the pins, you'll need a different uh, translation table. You'll need a different include file. If the include file doesn't exist, uh, there will be another video showing how to create those. Uh, so any mix works uh, for whatever your wiring requirements are to get your uh, pins to your chips. Uh, the other thing you need is to wire up your uh, liquid crystal display. Uh, this is using the Direct Connect to the Arduino uh, that comes with the Liquid Crystal. Use the seven pins. Uh, so this is really just for testing. Uh, <coughs> six pins? Six pins. So uh, you also need to define your device, and this is a critical thing here. We've given this one the name My Ace. Uh, you can call that anything you want. You can put them in arrays and number them. Anything you like. It's an object. Uh, the address here is a uh, 0x for hexadecimal, uh, 27. 27 is in the range 20 to 27, which means this is a PCF8574. If it was a PCF8574A, uh, we would be in the range 38 through 3F. And if we were using an MCP23008, we would ignore the real address of the device and we would just put in 0 through 7 here. Uh, that chip and the PCF8574 that we're using here uh, actually use the same I2C address space, so you can't uh, mix those uh, on the same address, uh, even though the numbers in the library here would be the same. Uh, the other thing we've wired up is a uh, button here onto our pin 13 to ground, uh, which will be used for setting the uh, zero. So to start with, uh, let's uh, run our sketch and it's telling us to turn the knob so we're going to turn the knob and see what happens and we're turning and we're turning and we're turning and oh dear um, that number is not going away so what it's looking for is any uh, activity on the pins if there's activity it must be plugged in somewhere not necessarily in the right place but it's plugged in somewhere so this is how you would test for dry joints or miswiring um, I actually have deliberately put some mid wiring in place. So here we are, uh, plug that in, turning the knob, and bingo. We're now getting activity on the screen. Uh, the activity is uh, the pin value that's up here is the raw binary value that's coming out of the eight pins. So that's a number from, could be from 0 to 255, actually 25, yeah, it could be 255. Anyway, uh, that's the raw value that's coming out of the pins. And that is showing our gray code. So we go, we turn it slowly. We go from 250, we go to 251. That's a power of two. That's the one bit flipped. There's it gone from 251 to 249. So it dropped by two. 
2 to the power of 1. Then it goes to 241, so it dropped by 8. That's 2 to the power of 3. So each time only one bit is moving. If more than one of those contacts were to try and move at the same time, and we were to probe the device at exactly that moment, because mechanical things aren't 100% accurate, you might get a random number there. So gray code avoids that by only ever trying to change one thing at a time. So you absolutely get only one value. You will never get something random out of this thing. That's the power of the device. Uh, the raw number, which we have here, uh, is the result of our translation table. And as you turn the knob clockwise, that should rise. It should rise up to 127 and then roll back to zero. Um, that tells us our device is working. Basically, we're done here. The other uh, numbers, the pause and you pause values, are for uh, actual use in programming. You typically don't use the raw number. What you do is you say, this is where I want my zero to be. So I'll pick a random spot. This is where I want to be my zero to be. And then we set zero. And in this uh, sketch, pin 13, uh, to a button to ground will <coughs> set your uh, zero for you. So now that's our zero. So we've remembered where zero is because the knob itself is round, so it could be anywhere. Uh, and now it will run up to 64, 62, 63, and then the uh, left right value, our position value, uh, which we use for up down, it has a zero in the middle, will go for minus 64. Uh, the the un unsigned number will continue to roll up to 127 and then roll back to zero. In a similar way to the way the raw number does, it's just offset by whatever it was when we pushed the button. So at this point, we have tested this and it's working. Uh, if uh, I have made a few of these, uh, which are pre-made backpacks using uh, SMD technologies, they're very compact. You can put them in your front panels, mount them in your projects. They're already set to a random number. If you buy more than one, I'll send you them all different. Uh, and then you can put multiple of them on the same bus. Uh, thank you for watching.